So this picture, this slide, allows us to see the age, developmental age, and the characteristics that they may have at particular times in their, in their life. If I was a gymnastics coach, where would I begin? What age would I begin to look for or look at children that might be or lend themselves to being successful in their sport? So if you're looking at that, maybe some of you will say, oh, six, seven, eight, and nine. Why? Because their suppleness will exist at that particular time, and without suppleness, uh, I don't know that you can go into gymnastics. I can't imagine myself at that age or any age being able to do a cartwheel, number one, but then do a cartwheel on a piece of wood that's four inches wide would be the kiss of death. But these children show that at that particular time. So we're talking about nine to 12 and what's happening. So you might say, what does PHV mean? Well, PHV is the peak height velocity. It's the time that their body is growing the most rapidly. Now, it's, this is a kind of a general, a general uh, view. It's not every single child will develop that quickly. But at this time, most children are developing their height, their most, the largest part of their adult height. This does give us some particular challenges in our training sessions at this particular time. But what, allow, what, what could we do at this particular time? And it says skills. So this is a great time for us to work on the technical ability of players to allow them, and don't forget the technique of soccer is the language of soccer, if you have good technique then you can probably pay for an extended period of time in the sense of a lifetime. If, you, if, you, if your technique is not as good as it could be, it kind of shortens your life in soccer because people tend not to give you the ball if, you don't, if you're not able to give it back to them. What else do we notice here? We notice that the females have this peak height velocity earlier in their lives than the males do. Being able to train speed post PHV as opposed to prior to it. Why? Well, think about it. Let's think about this picture. If this, this child, would you say that's a good soccer build? Yes, because soccer is about center of gravity. This is, a, this is a messy, right? Lots of, they gain strength, they have good balance, uh, they're able to turn. This child has just had a growth spurt. Let's pretend that. And what's the general opinion, or not the general opinion, but what's sometimes on the sideline, how does this child appear? And what would the comments be about that particular child or this child uh, after they've had some rapid growth. Some people will say they're lazy. Some people will say, oh, they're, they're, not, they're not as good as they were. Of course they're not. They're, they're, they're not. They've not lost anything. They've gained something, and they have to relearn how to run, how to turn, how to twist, and do it with a soccer ball. So we need to be educated to know how to use this particular time of their lives in the correct way. The challenge in a training session here, well, I wonder what, what would you change in your training session uh, be, based on the fact that there's been a rapid growth in height. Where are the stresses for this child? The stresses are in the ankles, the knees, the hips, shoulders, elbows, bones are still growing. But look, now we have maybe a larger concern because at this particular they may be stressed by nature and now we have to look at how we train people going through that particular cycle. Strength training should come after that uh, and this is strength training, we're looking at strength training there more in terms of the weight room as opposed to uh, resistance training or their own body weight.